Number 98. Which of these molecules and ions contain polar bonds, and which of these molecules and ions have a dipole moment? And then we have H3O+. Plus. Okay, so I guess we'll first work with whether H3O+, plus or hydronium, has polar bonds. Now, when I'm looking at H3O+, plus, do you see any bonds? Because I don't, right? If we're going to answer a question as to what bonds it has, I want to see the bonds. So, with, especially with these types of questions, where they're asking for polarity, polar bonds, dipole moments, take a step back and draw the Lewis structure. The Lewis structure is going to unlock a lot of answers for you, and you're going to see the, the molecule, you know, drawn out as to what it actually looks like. So, there's tons of videos on the channel just going through uh, learning how to draw Lewis structure step by step. This one will kind of be like a quick inversion. So you could pause the video and see if your answer matches mine. Now hydrogen, never, ever, 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 ever in the middle. So in this case, it's got to be oxygen surrounded by three hydrogens. I don't care where the three hydrogens are, just as long as they're around the oxygen. And each hydrogen can only have a single bond. So single, single, single. And then to fill out that octet, that oxygen needs two electrons. And since it's a positive, this is an ion. An ion is always a charged species. So I'm just going to put the brackets around it and say that this is positive. Okay, now here is the uh, Lewis structure. So from here now, I can see that, oh, we have three bonds. There's three single bonds, and they're all equivalent because they're all from the oxygen connecting to the hydrogens. So I'm just going to pull one of the bonds out. And I guess I'll draw it as, doesn't really matter, but I'll say, okay, we have an oxygen, single bound to a hydrogen. And that's what they're basically asking for when you're looking for the bonds. Only look at the two specific elements that are in that one bond. You don't have to look at the molecule as a whole. Now, if you have polar bonds, that means that your electronegativity difference between your two elements of that bond is in between 0.4 and 1.8. And remember, a difference just means subtraction. So you just have to find out the electronegativity values, subtract them, and see if you're in the realm of a polar bond. So let's see. Oxygen's over here, right? Oxygen has a 3.5 electronegativity, and hydrogen has a 2.1. Now, we have to take the difference, which means that we're going to subtract them, and uh, when you're subtracting, just make sure that you put the positive number or the, the greater number minus the smaller number because your electronegativity difference should always be a positive answer. So if you do get a negative, just make it a positive. It's always the absolute value. So let's see. Um, looks like I have 1.4, right? That would make 3.5. So 2.1 plus 1.4, that's a 3.5. And now... I say, okay, am I in the realm? I got a 1.4, and yes, I'm like way on the one side. I'm almost ionic, but this is very, very, very polar. So in this case, yes, we do have polar bonds. Okay, so that answers the first part. Now we're going to work with the second part, where they're talking about, well, does this molecule or this ion as a whole have a dipole moment? Now a dipole moment means an unequal amount of sharing of electrons. And you only get an unequal amount of sharing if you have a polar molecule as a whole or a polar ion. I'm going to say ion because I have the charge here. So I look at this and I say, okay, is this polar or is this nonpolar? This is where SNAP comes into play, S-N-A-P. If you are symmetrical, you are nonpolar. But since we want to find that dipole moment, we know that we should be polar and asymmetrical. But now here's another trick for you guys. Always check out that central atom, because if that central atom has dots, if it has lone electrons, it is automatically polar, no exceptions. And if I look at that central atom, that's the oxygen, right? The oxygen has, there's those dots. It's got two lone electrons. I don't have to look at anything else. 
I know that this is going to be a polar ion. And because it's a polar ion, it has the dipole moment. So in this case, we have polar bonds and the whole entire molecule, well, in this case, ion, is polar, so it has a dipole moment. Unequal sharing of electrons. And that's it. I hope this helped. Thank you for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to helping you in more questions. Um, check the channel out. We got physics and math videos, so maybe we could help you out on those subjects. Tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool channel. It's all because of you guys that were here in the first place. So thank you for all your support, and let's keep learning. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.